Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, getting ready to do your double daily messages <coughs> for the time period of March 4th through March 5th, 2019. Uh, March 5th, we are entering Mercury. She will go direct until March 28th. So lots of energy to work out and look uh, look out for is what I mean to say <clears throat> okay excuse me so I'm just going to give a little bit of a shuffle here formula of oracle cards okay cards are flying out so we'll pull those and read those in a minute here we'll get started with your reading okay so this is going to be the obstacle for the person you're dealing with the obstacle for you the what your person is overlooking or not seeing in this situation. This is the real issue here and the solution to the problem. Okay. All right. So your person, male or female, has the Four of Swords. The energy of the Four of Swords is present with them. They, uh, You may have someone who's just disappeared or they're not talking to you. They're not um, communicating with you in any way. This person may be in a recovery position or may be dealing with an illness. They may be healing from something. This card can represent someone who has uh, is in a victim po uh, position or is feeling victimized. They are having a struggle with this. Okay, there could be mental, some type of mental issues, depression, etc. Um, this person may be leaning on others to assist them. Okay, um, possibly healing from a breakup or healing from a loss of some sort. They could be currently dealing with someone who is ill. <clears throat> excuse me, similar to that person sitting with them, okay, this could be a parent or, <clears throat> excuse me, family member or friend or someone who's ill, this person is just, I feel, disconnected at this time, they have other things going on <clears throat> that it's affecting them ment mentally, Okay, now the position with you, your obstacle, you have the Queen of Cups, so we do have water energy here. So the obstacle for you is to trying, uh, trying to be understanding, patient, loving, warm, connecting with your intuition, going with your gut. Um, there's some messages that are you are hearing deep within and you may not be trusting them and you need to be trusting them in the next couple of days you know that first gut feeling you get there's an energy here that you need to trust that because that is the truth so i want to pull one more card for the queen of cups <clears throat> just because it's a court card of course, you could be male or female listening to this video. Are these messages? It doesn't matter either way. I just feel like you are having trouble trusting your intuition. You're having trouble trusting uh, or being able to be compassionate towards this person. And I feel like it's mostly because they have just pulled away and they haven't communicated with you about anything. And you just don't know what's going on. And so I feel like you're going within to try to piece things together. Um, you're looking at old text messages, old emails, uh, looking to see if there were signs or things that you may have missed about this, about a situation connected to this person. So three cards fell out. I'll, I'll take a look at those. The Magician. The Two of Swords and the Fool. Yeah, this is what's running through your mind, okay? Were you dealing with someone who had this very tricky energy? Um, red flags are here. Look at this. 
um, not looking at these. If there were red flags in this situation, not paying attention to them. Um, having an energy of maybe questioning, was I foolish? You know, y you are going through some stuff right now. Whatever sign you are, of course, this reading is just these are just intuitive messages so it doesn't matter who you are if you're listening and you resonate then obviously it's for you um, you're questioning whether you should try to you know because you're in this obstacle position these are what the obstacles are do you walk away you know do do you take a leap of faith with this person do you reach out with this person do you try to manifest do you use every tool or every trick in the book you have to gain their attention they have some stuff going on here they are out of order door is closed they are not speaking <coughs> so what your person is not seeing right now it's the devil energy so here we're looking at capricorn we're looking at aries gemini we're looking at aquarius now if that resonates for you great there's water energy too if it doesn't don't worry about it just listen to the the overall message the devil energy comes across as this is this is i feel like driving this train the devil is represents deception lies trickery um being in the pits of hell the devil represents that sheep or um that wolf in sheep's clothing energy that um the master manipulator someone who is suffering from some type of an addiction this person that you are dealing with is definitely passing through <clears throat> either the dark night of the soul or your person is trying to heal from this they're seeing things about themselves they're seeing or, or they're actually they're not seeing it because it's in the position of they're overlooking this they're they're actually not seeing that this devil energy is running their life and therefore because of that it's making them unavailable because it's got a hold of them okay and that's why it's difficult for you for some of you at least to try to be compassionate and understanding because there's an energy here of um feeling like i can't do this you know you're you can't control this you can't be this one minute they're available and the next minute they're disappearing that kind of thing um there could be involvement with a Capricorn as well. Um, that it's in the position of what your person is overlooking. Um, so there could be, I don't know how that, uh, that's the only message that they're giving me some involvement with a Capricorn. To what extent, I'm not sure. I will pull a clarifying card for that just to kind of get an idea since it's a major arcana. And see, maybe they can give me. Yeah, see, I was just looking at this here. The Two of Swords is, you know, going within and trying to make a decision. And it's sitting between the magician and the fool. Do you try to manifest and make it work or do you walk away? That's what, that's what your obstacles are. Do you be an enabler to this person's addictions? Codependency rises here. Or, you know, do you just free yourself? So let's look at this devil energy. Spirit, give me some messages, please, for this devil energy. The star, major arcana again. Yeah, this person doesn't see the light. They're trapped. They don't see that faith will bring them out of this. They don't have the faith they're trying maybe to get the faith to to recover and come th and pull through one more card please okay the nine of rods yeah they're you know there there's an energy here with this person that they too are trapped they are not making any moves the nine of rods very stagnant energy this person is you know they're trying to refresh they're they're you know they're overlooking very key elements 
They're also trapped within their belief system. Should they believe in, in <laughs> the devil energy and the star always represents, you know, in Christianity, Satan and God, Lucifer and, you know, it's like a fallen angel. Okay. Um, or whatever the opposing forces are, this is where this person is, they're stuck. They don't know how to deal with this or really how to get out of this situation. Okay, so the real issue here has to do with the Ten of Pentacles. This situation is affecting the security of this relationship, okay? It's affecting finances. So I feel like because of this person's inability to keep it together, or to, to get stable or become consistent or just to follow the path, one path, they're back and forth a lot. They're, they're contrasting, can, they have, um, they ha they're, they're contradicting themselves. They don't know where to be. They don't, one minute they're on this path and then the next minute they're on their other. And it's, the issue is security. At least, you know, between the two of you, the happy family, the, you know, the joy, it's not so much, you know, the love, because we don't have cups here. It's more along the lines is the security and the balance and the consistency of this connection with this person. This is what the real issue is here, okay? Apart from the fact that they're struggling and they don't know how to handle their situation, it's affecting the safety of this connection between the two of you. Now, the solution here is the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel, honestly, you need to seek forgiveness. I feel with this particular person, whoever you're dealing with, whatever they're going through, um, there's an element here of letting it go and forgiving so that you can get rid of the resentment or the confusion, you know, releasing it. And basically saying to yourself, you know, I can't do anything about this. I have to release that person, this person, whomever they are, to the universe. Let God take care of them. Let the universe take care of it. Release the attachment, the codependency, because you're conflicted. It's not saying for you to end it. It's not saying for you to stay. It's just saying for you to be. To just continue to exist and in the world that you're existing in to not be um to not push them away but to not pull them back in it's to find that that middle ground and that's balance and that's what the scales are representing here balance finding that middle ground for you be not for nor against because this is a situation that is playing out right now that seems to be on temporary hold yes it's affecting the security of the relationship or whatever it's attached to for you um, but you are powerless in this situation and that's where your conflict is you definitely are seeing red flags they are here you you are having trouble trusting to see that and you are deciding whether you should try to make the situation better and how do you do that or do you walk away and how do you do that so the energy is basically for me uh, finding that balance and not doing anything, at least for the next couple of days, just leaving it alone. You know, not pushing, but not pulling. Do you know how to find that, that center spot, that sweet spot of just being present in action is action. So what do these cards have to say? Only time will tell. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So, yeah, I just feel like, let it go. Leave it be. They have to work through their energy. They have to, they have healing or energy work they have to do. They have to find their path. You have to find yours. And the security will come when you find that sweet spot, when you just... That's an overall feeling when, when you're not pushing and nor are you pulling. Your hands are not in it, nor are they out of it. I, I don't, it's, it's very related. 
it's kind of like the the Tao teachings, if you can understand that, or if anyone ever reads about that, I read that often, and it's um, it's an energy of just being present, but having having effect yet not having effect. <laughs> I don't know. You, I mean, I don't give classes or lessons on that. I just I just understand it on a deep soul level, and I feel like that's what the message is coming through for you with this situation. Okay, so I'm just going to leave your reading there. It's pretty interesting. I hope that this video will upload because I've been having trouble. Um, I just want to show you guys really quick too. I have these goddess power cards I'm going to be selling on my website. And as soon as I uh, get that up there, I will um, let you know. I'll have There is a link below in the description box if you want to get a personal reading from me. Uh, you just go to my, that, click that link and it'll take you to my website. My website has all, a different variety of readings and then I'll be uploading merchandise and things I'll be selling. But let me just read one of these cards. Um, this is the Sacred Feminine Oracle. Okay, so if you're female, definitely this will represent um, the a goddess overlooking you or your goddess energy. And if you're a male, it would be attached to that significant female in your life. Okay, so let's see. These are neat cards. I really love them. Oh. So it's Hera. She represents water, the sign of Libra and Scorpio. Order in marriage and structure in love and relationships. She represents innocence, courtship, jealousy, betrayal, bitterness, separation, reconciliation, and union. She is wise, compassionate, loving, loyal, and forgiving, a strong heart. I just want to see what it has to say for Hera. Let me see. Give me a second here because I've never, this is, this video is the first time that I'm using um, these cards. These are so cool. I haven't fully looked through the book exactly. Um, so it's really interesting. She doesn't have a number attached to her, but she represents water and the name here, it looks like it says Dolly or Holly. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's resonating for anyone. Gosh, there's no like um, index. So there's a lot of these. I don't know if I'm going to find her. Sorry, I wasn't planning to read. Um, these cards but i feel if you really want to hear the message stay with me here it is if you don't you can click off so hera so the quality of life emotional and spiritual values rather than quantity that is so true um Hera was Zeus' wife. She loves order and marriage and brings structure to love and relationships. She has seen it all. Innocence, courtship, jealousy, betrayal, bitterness, separation, reconciliation, and union. Origins. She's the wife of one of the three sisters of Zeus in the Olympian pantheon of Greek mythology and religion. Her chief function was as the goddess of women and marriage. Her counterpart in the religion of ancient Rome was Juno, and the cow, lion, and peacock were considered sacred to her. She was known for her jealous and vengeful nature against Zeus's lovers and offspring, but also against mortals who crossed her, such as Peleus. Paris also earned Hera's hatred by choosing Aphrodite as the most beautiful goddess. So, She's represented by the King of Cups. Someone who is greatly capable of aiding you will appear in your life. Take their advice and seek support. This person may seem distant, but their motivations are pure. Uh, Libra and Scorpio, there is a very emotionally connected and mutually satisfying union. Though Scorpio is a brooder who can get lost in the confusing, Libra's proclivity for balance and harmony helps power of focus. And the key words, an oracle for this card, a father, a family man, a religious figure, or an artist, a counselor, sensitive, caring, and idealistic. This is a family matter for some of you. Okay, so I just thought I would read that for you. And again, if you're interested to get these cards before I uh, put them up on my website, you can just shoot me an email. The link is in the description box. And um, I'll let you know how you can purchase them.
and how much they are. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end your reading here. I do hope that you have a wonderful next couple of days. I wish much peace, love, and light to you, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.